This is a Caterpillar D9G bulldozer. Weighing in at the equivalent of 40,000 bags of sugar, it's still regarded as one of the largest bulldozers of its kind in Great Britain. And we're going to do something quite special with this one. But first, a totally unrelated side quest. Just quickly nip down the road and lift up this Second World War German Stug 3 assault tank for our friends at the Wheatcroft Collection. If you have an interest like me with Second World War military vehicles and general history, find them on Facebook, give them a follow and keep up to date with all their interesting projects. Right, Dave? Yeah. Got the talk settings right? <laughs> So as I was saying, our plan is to make an extremely heavy duty winch bulldozer. After quite a lot of thought and different ideas from different people, we've decided to mount the winch on the top of the blade. <laughs> Look how heavy this blade is. Is that the right spanner? Uh, it's not People quite, don't no. like it on the channel when we don't use the right spanners for stuff. <laughs> Look how big the D9 is compared to Jack. <laughs> <laughs> With little to no bickering whatsoever, we soon had the blade off so we could take it to our friendly fabricator. <laughs> I knew that would happen. How did that go? So I'll just point out that my one I just pulled out by hand and Jack's still struggling. Well mine's out, what are we waiting for? Give me a drift. Catch my drift. Catch my drift, yeah. What's the gap like? I'm not saying anything. You've got more pure strength yet. Pooey, what's that phallus you've got in your mouth? <laughs> I'm liking it. A bit suspenseful, though. Oh, we got it! Come here, off! Come here, Pooh. Good boy. Yeah, she's a bit of a babe, really. What's up with that? Nothing, he's just singing. It's his victory. That is his victory song. That's his mating call. Come here, Ted. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Ted, sit. Sit. Good boy. Yeah, I'll bring it around. Oh, what a thing. But first, a totally unrelated side quest. No, that's my warrior. No, it's my warrior. No. That's my warrior. That's my warrior. No! Can we drive up the ramps? Yes. <laughs> oh no, you can spread them apart. Jack's mum. <laughs> Proper truck. You worked it out, Dave? Is that... Is that running? Quite done thrashing my warrior. It seems alright now. Who are middle of military vehicles? Never heard of them. 
loads of you parked in the wrong place. Come back tomorrow. Thanks, Mom. I could have done that on the bed of the stand, yeah. That you damaged my skills. <laughs> you were down to them yourself. If you could cross the chains, Jack, when we lift it, it'd be great. What, sorry? When you let's cross them loads. Yeah, yeah, I'll cross them all over. Good man. You done a mint job of them chains. <laughs> Right, Dave. Oh. Oh. <laughs> My, mine does paint work. You coming this way with him, Dave? Thread. Next job, remove the 35 ton winch of the aircraft tug. Don't be scared of it. I don't like it. Find the paint. What size spanner is it, Adam? Uh, 22.5. I love it when the uh, gas pipes catch fire. Of course, there's a bolt that's below that slab armour that we can't get at. And this is extremely tricky to take off. I was not expecting something that big out of it. Give it the give it the beans with the tally on there. Backwards, backwards. No, don't go backwards. Backwards. You've lost something. Backwards. No. Backwards. Up a bit. Whoa. Hold it there. Yes. No. Back. Got it. No, it wasn't too stressful, was it? No. Absolutely not. That's a load of Come on, Ted. Come on, Ted. Come on, Ted. The fastest that blade's been in all. Oh, that's a bit rude. It's supposed to be very nice, isn't it? to drop on your foot. <laughs> Do 
know what you're doing. <laughs> that makes all the difference. We use the Mercedes to carefully bring the blade into the fabrication shop and lay it down on the trestles. This is a very delicate job. and We got nothing else really that could safely lift the blade in. A bit sketchy, but obviously you know we've done much worse. Anyway, so the plan is to fit that 35 ton bout and winch to the top of the blade. So the first job for Adam at one fabrication is to cut the piece out in the top of the blade for the winch to sit. Well, the blade's now safely on the trestles, and to give you some idea, the plan is to mount the winch so it will look just like this little skid steer that Heavy D Sparks made. It'll be like a giant version of that. That's the plan. We'll also be making some bar armor for the front windscreen of the D9, just in case we have a snatch block fail or a D-link fly off and could potentially kill the driver, because that wouldn't be good. Well, I hope you've liked today's video and please leave a comment if you've got a better idea or something interesting to add or something we could possibly do differently or do at the same time. This is all new to us. We are adding and adapting and changing the plan as we go and all ideas will be welcome. And thank you all for watching and we shall see you again very soon with another video.